Hey guys, Neri here from Drake Wing Gaming. So if you know me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you to the crazy Let's Play episode of A Place to Call Home. This has definitely become one of my staples of uh, VNs lately. It's uh, it's just so it's just so much fun. It's so silly. It's got some great family moments, some interesting romantic moments, and some very very unusual relationships between grandparents and their grandkids and uh okay <clears throat> uh, getting a little off topic here okay anyway guys please sit back and enjoy let me entertain you for the next 20 minutes and let's jump right in alarm chan you are up let's go okay <clears throat> the wolf plops himself next to me ah oh i love this slow music he closes his eyes and rests on his back where have you been he keeps his eyes shut doing stuff hmm it's nothing important. You've been eating seafood again, haven't you? I'm guessing you had more than three plates at the buffet. Nah, not really. I just had cake. I didn't really have a proper meal. What kind of clothes did you want to look at at the mall, by the way? You, got, you should get more t-shirts. I've barely seen you in one. I was on a hill. Huh? Hill? So you weren't at the mall? No. Then why did you say you were there? I was considering if I'd want to let the both of you know. But I thought Lowe wouldn't like that, especially when I'm out under the rain. You used to go there very often, I remember you'd say. Shouldn't Leo be fine with it? I never told him. <laughs> oh. Oh, wait. Back. Oh. Awkward moments. He made me stop going there because my health kind of got... bad. Boy, Loot, if you saw what I looked like before I brought you in, well... Let's just say I look kind of like you when I first saw you. Huh. I'm not right. Yeah, I'm not right in here. He places a finger on his head. And I'm sorry for lying to you. I should have known better. Why are you telling me this now? I'm kind of confused. I... I have no idea either. Damn it! I sat back. Kiss him. Fucking yeah, let's do it. Uh, right in the bar, baby. No, okay. All right. I my snout near his, slightly grazing the fur on his cheek. My lips peck his muzzle, gently kissing him. Hmm? Uh. Blood rushed from my entire body up to my head, and I quickly thumped back on the seat. He turns away, blushing. Hmm. <laughs> oh, you two are so cute! Ah, you two are so cute! Hey, what's going on here? I can't believe he's never told me this. It's a little surprising, honestly. Not right in my head. It doesn't seem like it at all. More people came in, and more customers piled near the counter, and seats began to fill, probably because of the rain. We waited until Grandpa came to pick up Leo. The lions and lionesses that came from the back to put on their uniforms and aprons and shirts began their little meeting behind the counter. I think Granddad hired more numbers than last time. Hmm, you read my mind. Same energies? Heh, <laughs> same brain cells. Ha. <laughs> he closes his eyes. I'm gonna take a nap. Okay. I think I'll go take a breather. Heh. <laughs> God, you two are so fucking adorable. What are we cooking tonight? <laughs> I'll boil us some asparagus. Filio wouldn't like that. It wouldn't kill him to eat vegetables every once in a while. It very well, very well would. I check, I check, I check the freezers for meat. Maybe some pork ribs or at least fish. There are none, unfortunately. But I had to double take on the round slices of meat on the second cooler. Beef. Huh. Now's a good time for you to teach me that dish. Which one? The one I love chewing on cold nights. I stared at the cold lump of meat. You sure it's not something else? Hmm? What? <laughs> Rule it in. Rule it in. All right. I never had the time to teach you that. Well, now's a good time. Get the chopping board and I'll have that meat heated up. Hmm. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> this classical music, it fits in so well with what's going on. After having the meat defrosted and prepared his... And pre blah. After having the meat defrosted and prepared his plethora of glistening knives, I watched him cut the beef in perfect, delicate sheets. The key is to not make it too thin, but not too thick either. That way you can unroll it when you want to eat it, just like you did before. He glances and smiles. About twenty slices piled on the plate in which he made in no time, and prepared the pickles and onions, hastily peeling and cutting through them. 
though with uncanny silence and a muffled buzz of the refrigerator. <laughs> oh, what we got? Do you know what Rulidin means? Rulidin, meat rolls. Yes, that's right. But Rulidin in English is all, it also means relayed, of which means a dish cooked in a form of a roll. I stared at my father's thick brows that curved as he sliced each small bulb of onion with graceful ease. I'd also know that a relayed is a passage of fast runs in a classical piece that is sung by a singer. Hmm. And I assume your lovely voice can still do such technique. Your mom would be very happy to hear you sing again, you know. Hmm. I'm a grown man. Lots of grown men sing, and on stage. I don't like the thought of it. Fine, fine. I have the back of my arm. <laughs> Come help me with this. He takes a thumb-sized chunk of the men's condiments and neatly spreads it on top of a neat sheet of beef. Like this? I did the same, though, with a soft touch of, e of ease and neatness. There. Looks great. He stares at it, then sprinkles a little more. I thought, it all, I thought it was already great. Well, yes, but it wouldn't hurt to ask some more pickles. Hmm. Filio loves, pic Filio loves pickles. I did buy him a jar of it last Christmas, remember? He snacked on it all night while waiting by the door for Santa Claus. He had a little trouble on the toilet after that. He burst into laughter. Heh. <laughs> huh. Oh, dear. So, you got any plans going back? To your mom? Maybe tomorrow or the next day. Not sure since she was really she, since she was really into hitting my face. You make her even more furious by not going home. Yeah, I can figure. I still call her from some time from time to time. She seems okay now. I hope so. I rolled up the pickled slices of meat, stacking each one neatly. So hmm? Have how have you been doing lately? Anything uh Exciting? I glanced. You know the business, the ice cream business, the city hall. Parenting. Nothing too hectic there. I would assume you already had her have heard most of the things from Ludus. Most of it. But I'd like to hear from you, son. Everything is fine. An eventful week, I suppose, but nothing too off. I heard about how Filio <laughs> I never thought that would be his reaction. That's what drugs do to you. I know, I know, but some drugs do lose some of those inhibitions. Those pent-up rage and desire. He comes to my chest. <laughs> God damn it, game. Come on. Honk, honk. Are you trying to tell me something? He shrugs. Hmm. What I really wanted to talk about is... How he has been feeling lately. It seems like there's something he's not comfortable with. Where'd you get that? Fatherly senses. I have them too, Dad. You can rest at ease. I tell you, roll the slice of meat in my hands. He stares intently. Hmm. No, you're doing it wrong. No, I'm not. If I forcefully grab another piece and accidentally tear it. This is too thin. Here, let me. It's fine. I can fix it. Really? Give it to me. I said I can handle it. I grab another slice and stack it on top of the torn piece. There, it's as good as a new slice. Hmm. So, as I said, just trust me. You've raised me well, so I have a good grasp on what to do. Right. Hmm. Hmm. These pauses that happens in, like, anime and manga, where they just, like, pause. So funny. I rub my arms to warm myself up. From the other side of the street, water trails down the drainage like a mini river. The people waiting for their, for their ride to arrive wipe their faces after being wet of street water from the splash of a speeding car. Huh. I let my hand catch the droplets of rain in front of me, feeling every cold drop. Ah. Uh, like a nice rainy day. Stop that! I turned to the voice behind me. No! Oh, hello there, stranger. You'll get sick. I step back. Shouldn't you be inside? Uh, oh, um... Is your father inside? Father? Are you talking about Leo? Yes, he's your father, ain't he? Well, I think you could put it that way. Yes or no, boy? Simple question. He growled. Yes, yes! Hmm. Uh-oh. What's going on? You haven't been causing any trouble lately, have you? 
N no Good. Be a good boy and don't give your daddy a hard time. Huh? I inspected his face. He sharply looks back and I quickly averted. Who the fuck are you? As his hand searches across his pockets, he pulls out a stick of cigarette. The stick sits between his lips and I wait for him to take his lighter out. Huh. Interesting character. I waited for more than a minute, but he doesn't seem to have any plans of lighting the cigar anytime soon. Maybe he forgot his lighter. I can get you a lighter for that. We have one inside. No, it's fine. You sure? I said it's fine, kid. A few seconds after, he starts chewing. Oh, that's... Okay. The sound stopped. He's eating it? You eat cigarette sticks? No? The hell kind of question is that? <laughs> ah. I wonder. I wonder who this person is. So, it's not a real cigarette. Hells be damned, I wish it was! He snaps and throws the thing on the ground. It breaks and the inside reveals brown, hard bits. It looks like... chocolate. I kept silent. I'm trying my best to stop smoking. My doctor advised it, so... advised it, so I'm enthusiastically forcing myself to apply... to oblige. Aw. Yeah, okay, I can tell where the attitude comes from now. He pulls out another stick. <sighs> Want one? <laughs> He's eating chocolate cigarettes. What about a fucking nicotine batch? That would, that would help more than I think chocolate would. Hmm. We finished preparing the rolled meat, and Dad had prepared more greens on the table, mincing them and putting them on a heated pan. I watched him pour a cup of red wine on the pan, its sweet aroma swirling around my nose. Are you catching up with me so far? It's a lot easier than I thought. He smiled. I should have taught you this in your earlier years. It's alright. I've had a lot of recipes to list in my head lately. And besides, Ludus is the one cooking now. He's a good cook. Don't get too complacent. Your skills will get rusty if you don't practice. Yes, yes. One by one, he places the rolled meat on the pan and lets it simmer. Now, we'll just have to let it be. That is all? That's all. Hmm. I'll go outside for a while. You'll be okay on your own? Yeah, but don't stay out for too long. You still have to help me set the plates. All right. Hmm. I looked around. I looked around for the two wolves. They don't seem to be here. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Jack? Are you two smoking? Panther takes a stick from his mouth and places it on mine. Hmm. Chocolate. <laughs> hmm. He must be gay, too. I thought I'd find you here. Well, that you did. How'd you know I'm here? I overheard the snarky wolves back in City Hall. They saw you and this boy. He points to Ludus. Overheard? Don't you mean eavesdrop? Look, I'm not in a good mood. All right, all right. Did you need something? I want to talk about matters. Important ones, obviously. Come on, Lionheart. I wouldn't be coming without having something important. Use your head, man. Okay, okay. Might I suggest a place with less prying ears, then? Mind if I do? <laughs> he walks himself in. Hurry up, or I'll give you a kiss. <laughs> God, all these strange men walking in. I wouldn't mind getting a kiss. Hey, 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 you. You've got someone. No. Bap on the nose. Bap, bap, bap. <laughs> Guess I'll be staying for a bit. Who was that guy? Jack Manfelia. My butt. <clears throat> friend. A friend. Your, your, uh, your, uh, your boyfriend? I thought you already had one, Leo. Uh, what's Seth going to think when he finds out about this? Come, dinner's almost ready. Dinner's ready? Damn. I think I'll stay here for a while. I want to unwind a bit. I looked around the hall. Hmm? Where is he? <laughs> a gentle paw moves on top of my shoulder. Looking for someone? His, gen his paw gently rubs between my shoulders. Looking for you. You flatter me, Lionheart. Let's take a seat. He rests back with his arms up a flat above the seat. The curves on his brows flatten as he relaxes comfortably. It's a rare sight to see him relax like this, most especially that he's a cat. 
He often goes to the city hall for this for his matters. Most days wearing a full suit of bulletproof gear armed with two handguns, if not one. With two handguns? What's he gonna do? Go akimbo? But even when he's not on duty, he still brings his two handguns. When I asked him why he always does this, his response was, Do I look like Laura Croft? Do you like it? Even until now, he has two handguns with him. I'm surprised security even let him pass through. I got an extra ticket for the upcoming Croft movie. VIP! I wonder who to invite. Hmm? So, what did you want? VIP screen is on Friday night. Pick me up by 7. Hmm. How are you holding up this week? We haven't been going out much recently. Hmm. I'd love to have more time with you, but... You do know how it is with you and your job. Well, good news. I'm laying low starting tomorrow. Which means I'm only doing monitoring duties at the station. Really? Yes. Then... Then that means I can introduce you to the boys. Absolutely. He brightly smiles. Ha. <laughs> so, what was the important thing you wanted to talk about? Well, this and... He folds his arms. Uh... Hmm. You've seen the news, haven't you? A drug frenzy slowly creeping in the city. We're currently holding investigations in small residences on the west side of the city, and remote areas and abandoned factories as well. Hmm. And you're telling me this why? One of our officers reported a person intoxicated with such drug which occurred in the park. Big Wolf, specifically. This person doesn't happen to be Filio, does it? Unfortunately, it is. He slides in a stick of Chaco cigarettes between his lips. Uh-oh. So what do we do from here? I think I'll get a box of strawberry Pocky on my way back. Gotta love Pocky. That one is tastier than this. If you're not careful, you might get another ailment other than your lung problem. What? You want me to eat dick then? God, Leon. T -t take me out to dinner first. Ugh. Cuties. Aw, oh, you two are cute. They'll take away your they'll take away your son, Leo. Huh? What? Every victim that took the took the drug went loco. Coconuts. Coconuts. <laughs> I, I haven't heard anyone use that to describe crazy people in a long time. He knocks his head. Right now they're under observation and rehab. There's still some sanity to them. That can't be real. Are you taking me for a liar? No, of course not, but it does sound a little too far-fetched, doesn't it? My boy Ludus even told me about Filio's outrages that happened last night. He told me about him turning into some beast. I didn't believe him, of course. Do you believe in unicorns, Leon? Unicorns? <laughs> what the fuck? This guy is so intense. Do you believe in them? He yes. <laughs> then you're stupid as hell. I mean, of course not. The hell with you, Jack. He bursts out in laughter. Speaking of which, where is he? He's somewhere around here, totally fine. Fine? You sure about that? Yes, well, he's been going around the city lately. Oh? I don't know what he does out here most of the time. Usually he's just at home playing his video games and walking around with Ludus. I see. My father heads his way to us after catching a glimpse of Jack. The panther stands up. What? 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 He calls him dad, too? Oh, okay, I, I guess it's because like they're part, like he's part of the family, you know, like how you call someone your marriage, like how you call your sp your spouse's parents, like mom or dad, stuff like I guess. Dad, Jack, great seeing you here. Of course, I would never pass an opportunity to say hello to my favorite father-in-law. <laughs> how the hell are things between you two? Pretty good. I told him I'm laying low starting tomorrow, and with that, we can finally start moving. Th we can start things moving. Oh, that's great news. Be sure to take it easy on him. He's a bit of a... <clears throat> <laughs> Dinner's going to be ready in a few minutes. I don't want I don't want you heading out with an empty stomach, so stay for a while. If you insist, might let me stay for a while, Leon? Sure. The food prepared is too much for us anyway. Great. All right, then. I'll let you two be, your, let you two be to yourselves. He moves to welcome new customers by the entrance. Your dad is always so kind. Good for you. My father used to be a dick all the time, teasing me for being like this. You shameful son of a bitch. You better straighten up or I'll do it for you. He impersonates a, grump he impersonates a grumpy man waving a fist. 
never had a chance to swipe myself a nice man when he was around, so when I finally got into the force and had decent enough pay, I quickly moved out. God, that day I felt so free. He smiled. I'm glad you managed it on your own. Can't imagine being where I am now without my old man. Hmm. Your sons need you, a father of sorts. Be the kind of guy he would look up to and appreciate. Trust me, I'll do the best thing you'll ever do for a boy like him. About this drug thing. Hmm? How long until the effect really kicks in? Huh? Well, just a couple minutes after the dose. Then they become constantly berserk until special forces arrive to contain it. Alright, so that didn't happen. I mean, he didn't, like, lose, go crazy or anything. He just turned into, like, a wolf. He was, like, really hungry. He was, like, a were... A were filio. <laughs> oh, man, this was a good episode. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna pause it right there. Thank you so much for watching. We got to meet Leo's boyfriend! And he's a cop. Very interesting. I can't wait to see where this goes. There's a little bit of, a uh, little bit of tension there because, you know, they're, uh, they're looking for filio. Oh, this is cool. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Leave a super thanks if you can. It always helps. Until the next video, I love you all, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!